Morning everybody, welcome back to the part two of this uh, little R33 to S14 subframe swap video. So this morning I'm going to be going to, um, to Fulcrum and picking up the subframe, so I'm really quite keen to see how it looks. Uh, obviously I've seen what it looks like after I picked it up from the powder coaters, but obviously you guys will be able to see it now too. It really looks really quite crisp. I wasn't expecting the colour to come out the way it did, um, but obviously with all uh, new black arms and whatnot, uh, not new black arms, but you know, I, I gave them a little um, little spray with some, um, just a bit of paint, so they looked a bit, they looked nicer than what they did. So, I am just kind of wasting time at 7.30 now. Uh, Fulcrum opens at 8. I've got to go to J Car, pick up some other stuff for another video I'd like to do this week. Um, so yeah, we've got the Nismo bushes pushed in. I still need to get the diff bushes pushed in as well. Uh, I kind of forgot about that. That was just kind of, you know, on the back burner. Um, and I also fucked up three of the Nismo bushes when I was trying to redo the knuckles. So um, yeah, the GK Tech tool I bought is good for taking out the factory bushes uh, and then refitting GK Tech bushes. Uh, but no, not very good for Nismo bushes. So that was $80 worth of bushes that I, um, I kind of cooked, so I'm waiting for DHL to deliver three new ones today. So as soon as those three one, those new, sorry, those three new ones arrive, I'll take the knuckle back down to Fulcrum. I'll get the presser bushes in, and then I can complete the other side of the car. So on that, um, we will go and get this subframe, and I'll pick the camera up very shortly. Cool. So without further ado, here is my um, refreshed S14 subframe. So yes, yeah, so I got it painted um, obviously bright blue. It wasn't, it, it didn't come out the as you know the color I expected, but I think that looks great from just a standard black rusted old shitty looking subframe. I think that looks crisp. So genuine is my bushes all round. Um, in the back there, you can see there is the hub, and I got brand new bearings as well because I found out that when the bearings were still sitting in the in the hub there. Oh, sorry, the knuckle, um, they are quite flogged out, like they had a bit of movement. I thought, you know, while they're out, I'll just replace them. Um, it's easier just to do stuff while it's apart, and you may as well just bite the bullet. So now I've got to um, get my diff done, which is sitting up there on my bench. Here are obviously my uh, rear live control arms, all four uh, new Nismo bushes, uh, brand new ball joints, and then the knuckles as well, so Nismo, Nismo, Nismo all been refreshed. I gave it a quick hit with um, just some black paint. Only thing I didn't spray up was like the CVs, but um, I might have to go and get some black paint and give them a quick clean up and um, give them a spray of black too, just so they look nice. All right, so after a little bit of a um, little bit of stuff on about, uh, I got me a little tap and dice of that, which is just there. Um, and I obviously started to go through tapping all my holes. Uh, obviously it's where the sway bar goes. Uh, there's one for like the handbrake cable and stuff like that, which is there. Actually, no, sorry, that's an exhaust one, I think. And the handbrake cables are just there. Um, and I noticed that um, when I went to put the bolts in for the diff here, um, this one's mint. This one here is um, was completely, completely stripped out. You can't really see it because there's a shadow in there, but um, this one was good. And I had to literally, luckily it worked perfectly in my favor. Um, took the subframe to work because I was going to stop by a bolt shop and see what um, they could offer me to help me fix this. Uh, but I happened to call our thread tech dude and he was like, look, I'm coming past the yard in about five minutes. If that works, I'll swing by and um, yeah, I can fix it then and there. So literally 50 bucks and 10 minutes of his time, he re-helicoiled it and it's good to go. So I'm just waiting for um, a friend of mine to rock up, young Dan. Um, he's gonna help me put the diff in the subframe and the subframe under the car because I don't have a jack. I lent it to a friend and I haven't gotten it back yet. And I kind of forgot about it. So. Um, yeah, a bit of a bit of um, fucking around this morning, but it is what it is. Um, it's going to get done, but uh, this is kind of how my floor looks at the moment. So new wheel bearings on each of the hubs. I got the bushes pressed in. So all Nismo bushes now in the knuckles. Uh, CVs are still ugly color. I forgot to get paint, but that's okay. Um, I put the Nismo diff bushes in. The insulators are somewhere here, which go on the other there. They those things there. They go on the top here. Um, I've got brand new Nolathane um, sway bar bushes and sway bar link pin bushes. So they're, they're fresh, ready to go. I've got some S14 Cusco rear tow arms. Um, they come from JDM Garage. Obviously, 
they're still in good condition. The, all the rose joints, I'm actually, I, I can't show you right now, but the rose joints underneath those rubber boots are still like great. And I got uh, a pair of KTS rear traction arms, so they'll go in as well. Uh, but yeah, it's just waiting now to get the subframe in and um, yeah, we'll go from there. So once Dan gets here, I'll get the camera back up and we'll go from there. So after some manhandling and lifting in, the subframe is in and that looks awesome. So a bit of a mission trying to do it without a jack because as I said, my friend Nick's got a jack, but honestly that looks so good. Didn't expect it to look that good actually. It's very bright, but that's okay. That's what I wanted. So now I'll, um, I'll get stuck into putting my lower control arms and stuff back in and yeah. So let's, uh, let's do that. Okay, so I've got one of these arms in. I had to literally go back to Fulcrum and get him to kind of push that little pin that's in there back through a bit further because I couldn't actually get them in. And I've also had to um, to smack the tabs out a bit to kind of get them to go, but obviously um, they're in now, but I'm gonna finish uh, today's video or this part of the video here because um, it's about 4th that I've got to go pick one of my children up. So um, yeah, I will um, put the camera down for today and um, yeah, pick it back up tomorrow. So I'll see you then. Good morning, everybody. Uh, welcome back to Obviously, just the second day of uh, getting this rear subframe in in the back of the car. Um, so, yesterday I finished with um, getting the, the LCAs in. Obviously, as I said, yesterday I had to bash them in to get them in. Um, but that's okay. A bit of, bit, of a, bit of hammering is fine. It's okay. It goes, went in. Um, so, today I plan on getting the actual whole thing back together and on the ground. Because it's got a, a, a long on Friday. So, without any further ado, let's, um, let's get stuck in. Don't know how I'm going to start. All this because obviously I pulled it out in separate ways. Like I literally had the CVs in the hubs. Um, do I put the you know do I put the CVs back in the hubs and put the whole thing back up and in, or do I put the CVs in first and then slide the hubs up to that? I don't know. I'll work that one out and um, yeah, we'll go from there. So I just did up the little ball joint nut, which is down there. I will now lift the lift the um, the hub up here to access the um, like the strut, or the sorry the yeah the coilover bolt. I put a rag up on where the CV sits, so I know I don't you know don't damage the paint. That rag can come back out when I'm done. Uh, handbrake cable is going to go up through there, which I can then mount to this bolt here. So as I did yesterday, I tapped all these threads back out so I knew they were gonna be right. Uh, that little bolt is right here. A uh, little bit rusty, but that's okay. It will be fine. Uh, these four bolts here are for the sway bar bolts. I like the actual brackets, so these things. Uh, as I showed yesterday, I've also got new bushes for those. Um, yeah, so let's get um, this whole arm up and in. Lift this hopefully lift this up oh geez that's tight I'll do it all up probably with a spanner eventually. But for now, I just wanted to get this up there like that. Um, I can probably throw the, the camber arm up and in there. Actually, you know what? I'll do the CV first so it's not just floating about. I think that sounds great. Okay, so I've got the rear hub on, the rear camber arm in, the bottom of the coilover onto the knuckle. 
Um, I've got the rear ball joint on and the nut done up with the split pin in it. Uh, CV shaft um, is done, like it's not in, but I've put the bolts in it. I need to um, obviously get the other side on and then I can, um, or at least just use the handbrake. So if I put the, actually no, handbrake's not gonna work, flag that. Obviously I need to be able to put it in gear um, and then I should be able to literally do them all up, but I'll do them up right at the end when I'm done. Um, but for now, I'm gonna try and go get this um, rear track arm sorted out. I just gotta obviously copy the adjustment or the measurement on this one compared to my new ones that are in the box there. So let's um, get these arms out and we'll um, put them up in there. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section if I'm doing this wrong, but I'd rather, I'd rather you know, someone tell me than, um, than not tell me, you know? So to me, That looks um, pretty close, maybe a little bit further out. Like rose joint thingies, I know that's a rose joint, but whatever you call these things. So a nice little bit of kit. I think they're like $150 for the pair from JDM Garage in Brisbane here. So then they obviously go in there like that. That one goes in there like that. And now we'll double check it again since I've got the, oh, like dust boots so that's cool I always like little things like that just to protect everything so anyway I will get these on and ready to go and then we'll put them up there right so rear arms are in I literally had to like try and fight this arm with like a screwdriver and try and pull the knuckle over as I got the bolts in but anyway rear track arms in rear camera arms in I've obviously just got to build up all the bolts I've adjusted that so it's the same as those there so I do these bolts up here and then try and work out some camber adjustment um, obviously because I didn't really, I couldn't mark them when I pulled them out. Uh, I should have taken a photo of where they were but that is what it is. Uh, so there's just the rear track arms to go. I think they're traction arms, I think, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, and then same again on this side, this side was actually a lot easier obviously when you do these um, you kind of got to like bend these out the way but like they're easy, there you go, easy enough to to pull up so yeah rear track arms are in rear cam arms are in once again got to do the bolts up um, i've got new brake pads for the back um, because i had the rotors machine so they're ready to go just got to put the cv in the back i've also got to take the tail shaft bolts out i already put in it so i can actually spin them around um, and then yeah it's like this little shit like sway bar and stuff like that but this is probably gonna take me about an hour so you know an hour of my time has been pretty well well spent i'd say um so this should be on the ground say hopefully by the end of this episode then uh, it's on to doing something else for another episode this week so but yeah and here comes rico So we've, um, Rico and I have got pretty much the arse end back together. Rico's just over there, uh, just adjusting the rear uh, traction arms because they don't quite fit in. Um, I've put this side pretty much back together, all under here. Um, so yeah, brakes are on. Had my machine, my rotors machine, got brand new pads in there. Um, camera arms are done, all that stuff. Only thing I've got to do up is the CV nut. I'll do that right up at the end once everything's in and tight. Um, but yeah, Rico's up there at the front of the car, just adjusting that other arm. And then um, it's just literally put the sway bar in and put the exhaust on and we can put it on the ground. So I will just keep you updated as we go. Fast forward ahead, um, Rico and I have finished putting pretty much the car back together. So I didn't really pick up the camera, but it's, it's kind of a pain in the ass trying to film stuff at the same time while um, doing stuff with only, only a camera. I don't really have like a, a, I do have one, but I haven't seen it for a while, my little, my little head mount. Uh, but other than that, the, the back end's all 
the back end is all in and looking good. I put on this other exhaust as well that I picked up. Uh, it's got, I've got a can on the back now just for something different. I just want to see how it goes. So um, obviously it's all roughly aligned. Um, obviously it's going for alignment on Friday, which will get changed. So yeah. But um, anyway, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it if you have stuck around this long, but um, stay tuned for the next video. See ya.